Hello everyone, first thing on the docket this season is The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. Now maybe you've heard about this show, the 8K shots, the amazing perspective, the artwork that looks just as good as an anime movie, but you know what you didn't hear? Probably all the plot convenience that made this show get the rating it has, and this is just an example of it. Mie-san, megane wa? Wasureta. Eh? Demo sakki. Full confession, there's more where that came from. But as for the premise, the title really does say it all. But you'd think, you know, maybe every few episodes. <laughs> no, because it is romance. But no, that's not what happens. It's every freaking episode, multiple times per episode. She's either losing her glasses, breaking her glasses. She's got to go to that store to get her glasses fixed or get new ones. Oh my God, it's so often. Now, first of all, I have glasses. I have no clue how you can see without your glasses. I, like, it should be obvious that your vision is a lot more blurry. But that's just me. You know, if you have glasses, tell me if that's any different for you. But how you can go so long without them, and she has terrible eyesight. This isn't like, you know, 1.25 vision. This is like 3.25 vision. I don't know how that works. But again, with more plot convenience, they're still not getting together unless another girl enters the mix. Because all of those moments with her not having her glasses was still not enough to get them together. So I'll put the girl on screen. <laughs> so yeah, she's the one who's really getting things all together in the end. I mean, you don't really see her much in the beginning. Now, if you push all that plot convenience aside, as for the execution, it's pretty much like any other show. When I say that, you know I mean like, Kubo won't let me be invisible. It's that level of execution. It is definitely not like teasing Master Takagi-san. Now, I thought originally the show was going to be like two seasons worth of Komi Can't Communicate level romance, but it definitely rose above that in the last few episodes, and I can say that now with my full chest. Now, in terms of the level of romance in the show, obviously I understand they're 13 years old, this isn't going to go that far, but if you're going to spend all that time animating a series, the least you could do is have a difference between episode 1 and episode 12 between the relationship of the main two characters. And obviously you see that in a show like Teasing Master Takagi-san, but you don't see that in a show like When Will Ayamu Make His Move? Now, the characters aren't really used all that well. I mean, what do you know about their background? There really isn't much gone in depth about that, nor the secondary characters. In fact, you almost never see the secondary characters unless they're used for plot convenience to push the episode along. So with the fact that a lot of the show is compromised as well as compromising depth with forced plot progression, I'm thinking that this is a D. Now, you tell me what you think, I'd be very interested to hear, and I'll see you next time.